Why do you seek the living one among the dead? He is not here, but he has been raised. I would be Joseph of Arimathea. Joseph of Arimathea. I'm related to the, the Joseph because um, he was like a disciple, or well, a secret disciple of Jesus. Because he uh, went against everything to be to get uh, Jesus' body. I don't know, because people are afraid of what others think of them, and I can relate to that. I mean, everyone has stereotypes. Everyone, everyone has those little shields that they like to put up so people don't know their true selves. And I know if I was in that situation that I'd want to do something more than the crowd and want to do as much as I can to help. So Peter got up and ran to the tomb, bent down, and saw the bureau clothes alone. Then he went home amazed at what had happened. I really relate most to Peter because though I know God's power is like, has no bounds, I still feel like I would have to believe. I have to see things to believe what he does. So. And I feel like I relate to him because I would like, I feel like I need to see it to, in order to believe it. Because he's the only one who believed all the girls and I think that it's really important to believe people for what they say. He would do anything to, um, to like, protect and fight for what he believes in. For example, like when he pulled out his knife and cut the soldier's ear, I think uh, in, a, in a way I would do something like that if someone would be making fun of my religion or what I believe in. And I definitely um, like do something for what I believe in. And, like, I connect to Peter because I think that in this Part, then Peter kind of tries to conform to society by saying, oh, I don't know Jesus, I'm not part of him. I feel like Peter because um, sometimes I deny God, but I always end up knowing that God forgives me. Like him, I defend my faith, but like him, there's times where I, I don't know either to accept it or not. I kind of do that sometimes, and I try and conform to what everybody else is doing, even when I should be doing something else. So even if we do somehow deny him in any way, that we can always ask for forgiveness. At times I deny God, but ultimately I love God and I would do anything for God and Jesus. I think I connect most with um, Mary, his mom, and the other to Mary's that are with him because they're with him and they're kind of unable to do anything to help but they want to. They're just standing there wanting to do something and like trying to help him but he's but they're helpless and I often feel like that in my life like I see things going on and I just feel helpless. I believe I would most relate to Mary Magdalene because I be with Jesus at his darkest time. The women were Mary Magdalena, Joanna, and Mary the mother of James. The others who accompanied them also told this to the apostles. They went out to tell everybody else, and then they didn't believe him, only one person did. So I think it's like, once you believe in God and you really know he's there, you want to tell the whole world. When they went to his tomb, they were confused of Jesus' death and seeing that his body wasn't there. And so I feel like I wasn't really assured of my religion, but now I am. You always find that one person that you know follows in God's footsteps and stuff, and I think that's just awesome. Okay, so I can relate most to Nicodemus because I feel like like it's all the little things that count in life, like St. Teresa of Lisieux always says, and all he did was bring like spices to fix Jesus' body, but it must have made such a difference, like just that he cared that much about him, just like to go out of his way to do that for him. Well, I connected most with Pontius Pilate because I think it must have been really hard to make that decision, and I think... A lot of people were telling him something that I don't think he wanted to hear. I think it's hard to hear that when you believe in something, but other people are telling you something else. He was bombarded with so many people like telling him what to do, and he didn't really feel it was necessary to crucify Jesus. And because of that, he um, struggled with the situation. I think I would struggle with that as well. He didn't believe what the people that were saying about him, not being the son of God. He's human and he makes mistakes, and I think that's something that we can all relate to. I believe I look like um, or resemble the soldiers because 
uh, they're being ordered what to do and they're being expected to hurt Jesus and to crucify him when, you know, I feel like I should break stereotype or I should break the boundaries in order to set limits for myself. I think I relate myself to uh, Simon because Simon helped a lot of uh, Jesus when uh, Jesus dropped the cross and he helped him. Bueno, yo soy como Simón porque me gusta el que le ayudó a Dios a recogerla, a ayudarle con la cruz, porque yo soy como que le ayudo a las personas también en la escuela, a los que no saben inglés y este, a mis amigos que están aprendiendo apenas inglés les ayudé un poco cuando llegaron ellos y no entendían mucho. Bueno, me gusta ayudar a las personas porque en la iglesia igual ayudo para representar el grupo de jóvenes y a, y a esto, catecismo. That the Son of Man must be handed over to the sinners and be crucified and rise on the third day. Oh, well, I think the person I can relate to the most is um, Jesus. Hey, I'm like Jesus. I'm like Jesus. You would not have no power over me if it had not been given to you from above. Jesus doesn't lie to the person who asks him about his doctrine and his disciples. And I'm like him because I don't lie. If, my, if I was about to be killed and I put my best friend with my mom, the keeper company. I would like to be like Jesus because he saved other people's lives and he put his life in order to save the other people. Jesus has suffered much igual que yo, pero a pesar de todo esto, me he sabido levantar de los problemas sin importar nada. Jesus had to suffer a lot to get something better out of his life and make everyone else feel better. I feel that I didn't believe before and until I started going to church and understanding it more, it made me believe. What this passage like really reminded me about um, was a quote that I heard, but it said that the grace of God will not put you where the grace of God will not protect you. And I felt that Jesus was really feeling that, even though he was going to die on the cross, but God, he still felt that God was going to protect him. And I felt that I always feel that God is going to protect me wherever he puts me.